Welcome to our video on the top 5 best graphics cards you can buy right now. Whether you're a gamer, content creator, or just need a powerful GPU for your PC, we've got something for everyone. Before we dive in, we've included links in the description below, so be sure to check those out for the most up-to-date prices and to find the best graphics card within your budget. Number 1. NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4090 the NVIDIA RTX 4090 is unequivocally the best GPU money can buy right now. It stands miles apart from its closest competitor and can handle just about anything you throw at it. Of course, it's not perfect, being bulky and expensive. That said, there's a surprising amount of value in its quadruple-digit price tag thanks to a monumental generational uplift. The NVIDIA RTX 4090 doesn't just beat other graphics cards at benchmarks, it's a decisive single-punch knockout. Pushing the Ada Lovelace architecture to its limits with 170% more transistors than its predecessor, it boasts up to a 78% increase over the RTX 3090T in our synthetic tests. Real-world gaming is no different either, with a 53% jump in native frame rates even before you tinker with overclocking. DLSS 3 also adds a new dimension compared to AMD FSR and Intel CSS. You'll find it on other RTX 40 series graphics cards, but none use it as wisely as RTX 4090. The feature is almost like having superpowers in Cyberpunk 2077. When running the RPG at 4K resolution with ray tracing set to Ultra, performance mode bolsters the frame rate by up to 110%. DLSS 3 is limited insofar as games need to add support for it, but that library is growing fast. Even with all of this goodness, the elephant in the room is a $1,600 price tag. Even if you know this chonk will fit inside your PC case, even if you choose the right power supply to feed it, the cost relegates it to enthusiast territory. Nevertheless, if you can justify the bite out of your bank account, It'll tick every box in a seasoned gamers and content creators wish list. Number 2. AMD Radeon RX 7900 XTX. AMD doesn't have an answer to the RTX 4090, and it doesn't really need to. The Radeon RX 7900 XTX instead gives the RTX 4080 a run for its money with great performance and even better value. It's a 4K powerhouse with 24GB of video memory under the hood, but the card's true strength lies with the divergent philosophy to its rival. Keeping this beast under $1,000 is a stroke of genius in its own right. AMD focuses on an RDNA 3 chiplet-based design to slim the silicon costs, and it works wonders. The innovation comes at the cost of a little performance but brings with it floating point prowess, increased cache sizes, strengthens bandwidth communication, ups frequencies, improves ray tracing, and even sprinkles a little AI goodness into the mix. The AMD Radeon RX 7900 XTX offers a pretty big gen-on-gen -gen jump over the Radeon RX 6950 XT with 30% better performance at UHD and 35% more value. The tussle between it and the NVIDIA RTX 4080 is a close one in our tests with no decisive winner at a 4K resolution. Considering the RX 7900 XTX is around $200 cheaper, however, Team Red sneaks away with the high-end crown. It even wins in aesthetics, as aftermarket cards boast the best RGB implementation on any GPU, see for yourself in our Sapphire Nitro plus AMD Radeon RX 7900 XTX VaporX review. All of this is to say that it glimpses at a future where NVIDIA and AMD couldn't be more different. The Radeon RX 7900 XTX already walks the high-end tightrope, balancing value with power in the current economic climate. Future models from Team Red might just do the same. Number 3. AMD Radeon RX 7600. The entire AMD Radeon RX 7000 series is conscious of price, but none more so than mid-range Radeon RX 7600. It's designed with the essence of bringing decent gaming performance to the masses without breaking the bank. The card boasts a modest number of stream processors which, while not groundbreaking, provides enough muscle for mainstream gaming at 1080p resolution and a healthy uplift when upgrading from a much older card. 
It's no surprise that it's not a ray tracing powerhouse, but it does a fair job in delivering a smooth gaming experience in modern titles with medium to high settings. Sticking with HD resolution, you'll get more than 100 frames per second in Assassin's Creed Valhalla, Final Fantasy XIV, Endwalker, and Rainbow Six Extraction. It's even capable at QHD if you keep expectations in check, sitting above 60 frames per second and all the above. There's no sweat to speak of as it keeps cool and quiet. This naturally depends on the cooler, so your mileage may vary, but the dual sapphire fans on our test model performed exactly as expected. It also gave us enough overhead to dive into the AMD software for overclocking. With a bit of tinkering, which doesn't take much know-how nowadays, we saw a 4.2% increase in frame rates. At under $300, the AMD Radeon RX 7600 seeks to democratize good gaming performance, making it accessible to a broader audience. This goes beyond the initial purchase, with modest power consumption that doesn't gobble up your entire electricity budget. Number 4. NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4060 the NVIDIA RTX 40 series is a pricey proposition, and RTX 4060 is no exception. Arriving at the $300 MSRP mark, it's not as egregious as its brethren but still a big ask for the performance you get. It does feature a secret weapon, though, it's the most affordable way to get NVIDIA DLSS 3 with frame generation. Rasterized performance is a bit middling and not the most compelling upgrade from the RTX 30 series. In fact, it falls short of the RTX 3060T in every test we performed. Where it truly shines is with the help of NVIDIA's AI solution, DLSS 3 with frame generation. Using quality mode sees a huge 91% frame rate improvement in Cyberpunk 2077 in FHD and a 131% difference at QHD. Comparatively, that's an 80% and 131% leap over its predecessor, respectively. All of this comes with a distinctly low overhead, with RTX 4060 being one of the more efficient 1080p graphics cards. It'll merely sip juice from your power supply rather than chug. This is thanks to cutting-edge Ada Lovelace architecture and a refined manufacturing process. The takeaway from this is that it keeps your electric bill low and it shouldn't generate a great deal of heat, which is ideal for smaller PC cases. Our main criticism comes from its price to performance. After all, the value-conscious Radeon RX 7600 is sitting right there, but the undeniable fact is that while AMD has NVIDIA beat at raw performance on a budget, there's nothing out there that currently compares to the power of DLSS 3, and RTX 4060 holds the keys. Number 5. AMD Radeon RX 7800 XT The AMD Radeon RX 7800 XT is a curious card. It doesn't offer the generational uplift we'd expect, meaning it's not worth the upgrade if you're already running an RX 6800 XT. That said, the RDNA 3 GPU is the best for 1440p gaming in the current crop and definitely one to consider if you're looking to step up from ubiquitous 1080p FHD. QHD Gaming holds a special allure, promising a balance between visual fidelity and performance. It's more detailed than HD but not quite as taxing as 4K. The 16GB GDDR6 VRAM clad Radeon RX 7800 XT sits in that gap nicely, beating the NVIDIA RTX 4070 with one hand tied behind its back. It's slightly hotter, louder, and more power-hungry but you might not notice too much of a difference in a well-ventilated PC case. The trade-off in our tests is up to a 7.8% improvement over its rival, meaning it's probably worth it anyway. Form lens to function. The sleek design is capped with a triple fan design on our Oshrock test model, giving it headroom to overclock. As with the other AMD GPUs here, it's an easy process enabled by the Radeon software, and yields up to a 6.5% performance uplift. In some games, this might even mean the difference between double and triple figure frame rates. In pure rasterization, it's a clear winner in QHD gaming. DLSS and better ray tracing might tip the scales in favor of the RTX 4070 for some, 
but remembering the slimmer £499-479-pound price tag brings it right back into the AMD Radeon RX 7800 XT's court.